yesterday I spent my birthday here in the RV and went to work. I just experienced my first birthday while living full time in my RV. And what also happened yesterday, even though it was my birthday, we got a citation notice from the police. So we have 96 hours to move. The people of this town of Evergreen are super snooty and there was a guy who was living outside his name was hillbilly rick and i'll give you guys like the rundown of hillbilly rick so there was an rv that was parked in this parking lot where we have been staying for over a month now and the rv was left there by someone who used to live in it and he passed away of cancer the city had not taken care of the rv they had not done anything with the rv and so rick basically it was like hey if I can have the rights to the vehicle I will clean it up and I will take it off your hands the city agreed and there was so much junk from the person who had passed away and from Rick himself there was so much junk I think it took up like three to five parking spaces whenever he had everything out when he was cleaning the trailer and the RV and the community had caused such an uproar there were Facebook posts about it and how I found out that there were Facebook posts about it a patient from where I'm working was talking to me just about my living and what I'm doing and I kind of briefly told her where I was living and she said oh my gosh there's a Facebook group about you guys and I was like what do you mean and it's not like the group is for us it's just the evergreen Facebook group the community group and they were talking about it so she added me to it the patient added me to the group on Facebook so I was able to see and kind of monitor what they were saying and what they were doing the whole community came together and they got Rick propane, they got him water bottles, they got him canned food, gas, anything that he needed because he was taking that RV that had been left in this parking lot for over four months now. He was taking it, cleaning it up, and then he got a job in Washington and he was trying his best to get out. And there were residents that were coming and blaring their horn through the parking lot, just blaring their horn at him in the middle of the night when the sun was setting. And so I went on the Facebook group and I post and I called out the two cars that we physically saw driving around the parking lot honking their horn because they were angry that Rick was living there. And so I posted a Facebook post uh, just kind of letting people know like, hey, that's not nice. That's not cool. Cut that shit out. And there were a lot of comments that had commented back to me and they're like, yes, like it has been so toxic and crazy watching this go down and people are so rude and negative about Rick and all this stuff because Rick's been trying to get out. But he has to get a broken down RV working and clean out all the hoarder stuff and just get everything situated. And it's snowing, so there's constant snowstorms all the time, slowing down his progress. So yesterday was my birthday, March 1st, and Rick had to be out by the 1st. He was out yesterday, he was out by the 28th. He didn't even spend the night so that he was here the morning of the 1st. And there was a guy when I got home from work, so we got a citation yesterday. And then when we got home from work, there was a guy who came to the park with his family. I was like taking photos of our license plate. And I was sitting in Jordan's car, so we saw him take a photo of my RV and the license plate. So I went out to like try and go talk to him, but my friend and my boyfriend, they went absolutely feral. I would have just kind of talked to the man and been like, first of all, I'm a healthcare worker. Second of all, you could have knocked on my door if you had something to say. Like, you think it's cute just to take a photo of my license plate and snitch? Little did you know, we already have a 96 hour notice. But if you're gonna be a dick about it, I'll go park one night at the Walmart and park one night here, back and forth, back and forth, and you'll see me till the end of my contract. Like, you think I'm playing? Like, that's so rude. But currently, the RV is in shambles, and we have to move. And I think my honey's gonna move today. I don't know where we're going. But since we're moving, I have neglected to basically say the name or put out the parking lot that we've been staying at because I'm here for 13 weeks and I know that I'm going to post YouTube videos throughout the 13 weeks. So I think today I will be able to show you and tell you where we have been staying and I'll also give you the eye overlander little coordinates like I always do so that you guys can go check it out too. And I'm sh pretty sure once the Karen's shut up, you'll be able to come stay here because we literally stayed here for a whole month with no problems. The only problem I think that we ran into is the fact that all eyes were on Rick and we were parked next to Rick so we were constantly being watched as well but yeah that's the update over a month living in a parking lot 
in my RV <laughs> in Colorado. When I take out the puppy dog, I will kind of give you a tour of around where we've been living. It was my birthday, so there is a bunch of junk everywhere. Literally everywhere. So we're gonna have to tidy up this whole space before we move. Um, and then I have to get ready to go to work soon. And then I guess I'm going to a new home. So, yeah, that's fun. Okay, so this is the parking lot that we've been staying at. And there are the most beautiful mountains and in the morning, sometimes it's a little bit early. Normally I come out around like 7 a.m. to start my car. So whenever I start my car, I will show you guys what it kind of looks like. But yeah, this is the parking lot that we've been staying at. You can see that there's like another truck camper. There used to be another RV here, which is where Rick was. And then there's a bus that is green, red, yellow, and blue. <laughs> And they have been here since before we even got here because when I first pulled in, those are the first people I went and talked to and was like, yo, can I park this big rig? And he's like, yeah, literally no one will mess with you. And I know that the only reason is because of the homeless man is why the town of Evergreen or Bergen, we're technically, okay, I'll tell you, we're at the Bergen Park and Ride because we're leaving today. We're not gonna be staying here anymore. So we've been at the Bergen Park and Ride. There is like a trail and people walk their dogs a couple of mornings ago I made a TikTok because there was a whole bunch of elk all over here grazing but yeah this is kind of where we've been staying I think Jordan is right behind us yep there she is and the mini coop that my grandma's letting us use but yeah this is where we've been staying and it's been a really cozy home for the time being we're leaving today and yesterday was my birthday and I didn't really get anything for myself for my birthday except I did get myself I don't know if you can hear me I'm sorry I know it's loud um I did get myself a salmon bagel it was so good but I think today I don't want to make myself something to drink but I want a matcha latte so I think I'm gonna spoil myself and get a Starbucks unless I can find a cute local coffee shop I would totally opt for that but they don't always have my matchas and I don't want coffee um, but yeah, I'm gonna go toast up in the RV a little bit and then at 7 a.m. I'm gonna turn on my car and maybe the sunrise will be a little better I don't have to leave till 7:30, but but yeah I don't have to leave till 7 30 but the car is kind of really cold so I'm gonna give it like 30 minutes to warm up but I gotta leave a little bit earlier so I can get some Starbucks hi can I please get a large hot matcha latte with oat milk and three pumps of, do you guys have the cinnamon dolce still? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, awesome, I'll do that please. Perfect, what else for you? And then um, just a warmed chocolate croissant. Awesome, what's your name, my dear? Uh, B. All right, we got you 1014 at the window. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if I told you guys, but I had a couple of incidences on the road with this Mini Cooper because it didn't have snow tires. And so I'm super grateful that I have snow tires because holy moly, it's snowy everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so I'm also gonna take you guys to work with me, kind of, because um, I don't know if I told y'all, but I am actually moving sites. I've only been working, this is the 13 week contract, and I'm currently on week five. But starting next week, I will work Monday, and I'm training someone for my site. So I guess they hired someone full time to work at the site that I'm currently at because of that instead of ending my contract they're just moving me to another site that needs help so I have another first day on Tuesday next week but yeah and I'm a little bummed
bummed about it because I like working at the site that I'm at by myself. I am going to be moving to a new site, which means another new first day at a job. It'll be six weeks into my 13 week contract. So that only leaves me seven weeks. So I'm basically splitting it right in the middle. I have half of my contract at one site and half of my contract at another site. And it took me like literally a couple of weeks to get acclimated. Like two weeks were training weeks and then I've been on my own for the rest. But nothing's really changing technology wise. It's just a different site. Because I'm moving sites and I really love this site and I'm all by myself, I'm gonna just kinda take you along with me into my day. Oh, we're almost there. Just a short drive from where we've been parked, but we're moving, so hopefully we move closer. I'm gonna take you along with me to my assignment. So this Nissan Rogue in front of me have a sticker that says honk, and then in small letters, if you look good. Well, I mean, I look good. <laughs> I bet they get honked out all the time. <laughs> No, I want a funky sticker that has people honk at me. Like, are you mad at me or do you see my sticker? You know? Then I'll always take honking as a good thing. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that design switch. Okay. A new redesign. I'm going to get a sticker that's like positive, something positive about honking. So then it, even if I piss someone off, it could be a good thing. Because they could just be honking because they saw my sticker and I won't know the difference. Which therefore always puts me in a positive state. I'll be like, oh, they saw my sticker. Even if they're mad at me, I'll never know. Bergen Park and are currently somewhere close to Denver. We can see the city and the sunrise. It is absolutely glorious. Oh. Hi, Indy. Indy, come on. Let's go. since all of that has gone down. We've been to about four different parking lots until we made it to the one that we're currently in. Tonight we're staying in the parking lot where I'm working at my new site. They have a gym that has a shower and water, like drinking water that you can fill up these water bottles and then pretty much all that you need literally right here. So we're gonna be camping out here. I'm hoping that we can crash here for a little bit. We stayed at a Walmart and we got a knock at the door but we didn't get any notices. We also stayed at a Home Depot. We did get a notice there. So yeah, I'm hoping that we can stay here for a little bit longer than we stayed at the other place. It would be really awesome if we could reside here almost permanently for the rest of my six to seven week contract just because we stayed at Bergen Park for five to six weeks and it was totally awesome until there was a little bit of drama that went down with Hillbilly Rick. So yeah, I know that this video was not super eventful. I just more so wanted to give the realities of living on the road and road life. If you haven't seen my story and you don't really know much about what's going on, my name is B. am a traveling phlebotomist and I currently live out of my RV. I'm traveling around Colorado right now. 
I will be here until about the end of April. I'll give you guys more updates on living on the road and let you guys know if this spot worked out for us or not. I really hope so because there's like a parking garage, there is tons of privacy, it's kind of more of a private lot so I'm hoping that no one bothers us. One of my coworkers said that we shouldn't get bothered back here, that there's been abandoned cars back here and this office is only utilized by people that work in the building and so most of the parking lot is not utilized at all. Like there was only 10 cars parked here in the middle of the week during a work day. So far so good. We just kind of got to relax here until Friday and then this weekend we're going to my grandmother's house so that we can get the Mini Cooper fix that she let me borrow. It has an oil leak so it needs to go to the mechanic on Saturday and we're going to be staying in Port Morgan for the weekend which will be awesome because I know that we will be guaranteed parking there with no issues at all. So today we took the RV to Camping World because when we got our water pump installed about a week ago it was having a little bit of issues but it was still covered by warranty and Camping World installed a new water pump for us and it started leaking a little bit into our bedroom so we brought it back there today and they were able to fix it completely free of charge so I have a fixed up RV gonna go get the car fixed this weekend like I said and yeah thank you so much for tuning in I know that today was a lot of talking and just updating you on the realities of road life while it's been a bumpy week these past two weeks this is the reality that comes with living on the road sometimes so yeah like I said I'll keep you guys posted kicked out <laughs>